jackets and shirts. All right, so we're back here with another uh, eBay Chinese part uh, thing. So uh, we got Darcy again, we got Adam this time, and we got me. So uh, let's see where this came from. This came from, uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna blank up my address there. Zhao Jing. Uh, that's a long address. Zhao Jing. Uh, from Wakang Shop, number point one five five in Hutai. And that's uh, the Re People's Republic of China. So uh, here's a sweet box here. I opened it a little bit. So we're gonna, you just wanna hold that? Just you can put around the box there. Let's see. Ah, pop that open. There's a big box of crap here. I ordered a bunch of little things from the same guy. Uh, get a little slit in there. They, they packed it pretty good, actually, considering. I mean, this took you like less than a week to get here. So I think the total bill for this guy was about 150 bucks. So we got Etman Racing Parts Ital in Italy. Uh, there's no way it's from Italy, but it is actually a really nice piece. Um, it is threaded too, I'm surprised. That's actually not bad, it's nice and solid. Oh, all work good, that's a T3 flange. Um, another uh, Etman from Racing Parts Italy. I, there's no way, obviously it came from China. Uh, <clears throat> that's gonna be for the oil feed on the turbo. And holy shit, that's a small restrictor. That's all right, we'll run that anyway. Uh, I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? It's gonna start the turbo, oh no! <laughs> uh, there's the outlet for the, tur uh, for the oil on the turbocharger. That's that uh, GT30 high quality knockoff that we had there yesterday. And we got, oh well, it gave you a whole shit ton, holy crap. <laughs> Well, I ordered uh, the flanges for the T3 flanges. They gave me like 20 of them. <laughs> I mean, are they single ply? There's no way. Why would you send me this many? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, uh, that was $5 shipped. <laughs> so I get, I'm not going to complain about those. I mean, I, we use T3 stuff all the time, so that's great. Um, they actually, I mean, <laughs> they're stronger than the Garrett ones. They're actually multi-layer steel as opposed to a single layer. It's really nice, actually. Um, so the next one is the uh, Garrett style three-inch outlet uh, for the downpipe. It's a downpipe flange, and uh, that's really good too, actually. I get a little cast line, but I mean, I think this was like thirteen dollars Canadian shipped. So. <laughs> Not gonna complain about that either. Now, let's see what else they get. You know what they didn't send me? They didn't send me the freaking gasket for that. What a bunch of dicks. And well, there's the uh, 20 of the others. Yeah, 20 of the other ones. That's all right. I'm not too upset about that. That's like a $5 gasket logo. They're not expensive. So, this is the 4 inch uh, silicone coupler that's gonna go on the inlet to the turbo um, on the compressor side. And I mean. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like six ply, so it seems kind of loose compared to uh, like a vibrant one or something, like a little squishy. But it'll do the job. It's not on uh, anything that's holding boost, so just on the uh, pre-compressor. So then we got the big boy. Uh, this is the Tile 44 mil knockoff wastegate, and uh, so far the box looks exactly like a Tile one, which is a shame because. I don't know why they still run the stupid generic white boxes. Maybe the tiles are knockoffs of these Japanese or these Chinese ones. <laughs> I look, it even has the same foam in it. It's a little thin, but oh god, it looks like crap. <laughs> so, here's the top. It's obviously a non-MVS wastegate, so there's no coolant. Oh, there is a. No, that's just a backing port. I get excited there for a second. So it's yeah, it's a non-MVS. It's just a standard. Tile 44 mil. Um, the logos are actually embossed in it. They're not. Uh, they're not just painted on. They are engraved. So looks pretty good. And let's see what else it comes with. Uh, you have your uh, flange for the up pipe and your uh, dump tube flange. 
And you have your fittings. Jet. Oh, shut up. Uh, then you have your fittings for your vacuum. And there's your your blast ring or your fire ring, whatever you want to call it. Oh, looks pretty good. Looks like it fits pretty good. I don't know what they have it for a spring, but it's not good. So we're going to have to uh, figure out what that is. It's like a five pound spring in it. Jesus. Come with any others? No, it, came, it didn't come with any other springs. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but if it's anything like the knockoff tile blow off valves, uh, the tile spring, waste gate springs will work in this, which we have a pile of, so it's not a big deal. Um, it didn't say what size size spring it came with on there, so that might be something to watch out for, because I mean, if it, even if that's a five spring, what can we do? Max it out to 10 pounds? Like, we can only double the spring pressure rate, so. Um, yeah. I mean, I think everything there, like I said, it's cost like in the total of 130, 140 shipped range. Can't really complain. Looks good.